Hi, everybody. Welcome to Cruise Shop Sam. I'm so excited. I'm talking to a really, really good friend of mine uh, called Cruising Pete. Hi, Pete. How are you? I'm doing well, darling. Good. Good. <laughs> uh, good. And I've missed you because I took kind of a break just before Christmas and I really miss you. We've got tons to talk about. We've got some great news for everybody. Um, so how are you? Well, I don't know where to start, really. Things have gone crazy. <laughs> Honestly, oh, which is great news because it means that I think people are now we're thinking we're ready to cruise again. We're yes. all getting ready to cruise again. So it's been quite manic uh, with my group cruises for solos. Yeah. As you know, I've got a group cruises for solos. Um, it's been there. It's, it's going to be two years old. This is Valentine's Day. Can you really? Believe? Yeah. Gosh. And I posted in the end of November. Congratulations to us. Yeah. We yeah. hit five thousand members wow what well, yeah lot. that end of that's in november yeah yeah we now have thirteen thousand three hundred. i don't know what's happened i just saw that i was just i just was gonna say in two years on your facebook group yeah you have got 13 point well do you know what it says it just means that there are so many people that want to cruise solo because before it wasn't accessible, but now it sort of is, isn't it? It's really hard to deal with because while I'm talking to you, there'll be a queue of people waiting to join. And you want, you want to check everybody is as okay as possible to keep everybody safe. But with that yeah. amount of people, it's really difficult, you know? So, and I, I have Alison and Chile are wonderful moderators, Alison in Glasgow, and of course yeah. the wonderful Chile Cruises in Virginia. Yes, one of the love Chile Cruises. You know, Shout out to Chile. <laughs> absolutely. So, yeah, so they, they, they moderate as well, but it is mad. At some point it'll calm down, but yeah. And, and, and at the moment, we're because of that, we are organising, at the, it is literally this moment, our first ever group cruise. Oh, my God, that's amazing. We were just talking about that. So it's, it's this is unbelievable, everybody. This is so, I'm so excited. Do you know what? I just remembered I forgot to put my light on. <laughs> <laughs> But it doesn't matter, I don't care. If you don't care, I don't care. So, but we, we started chatting straight away and I said, come on, we have to record because this is insane. So ch tell us about this amazing group cruise that you you and Alison have organised and Chile have yeah, organised. Yeah, yeah. It, uh, the only bad news about it is that the great promotion finishes today, literally now. Uh, but we're it's going to be incredibly great tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, to join our group. It's still going to be a great price. We will look... When Alison, I spoke to Alison and said, okay, you know, it's organised a group. We've got so many people joining us. Let's yeah. do our first group cruise. Yeah. And then we've got to do a bucket list one, Alice. Uh, where do you want to go? What yeah. would you like to do? And she, she talked about the Greek islands. Love yeah. to do the Greek islands again, you know. Absolutely. I went, okay, let's organise it. Let's have a look. So we started looking at the Greek islands for 2023. This is May yeah. 2023, by the way. Right, right. We started looking at the Greek islands and with Norwegian Cruise Line, the wonderful Virgin Voyages, PNO, you know, Celestial Cruises, many, many of them are out there, yeah. And it was starting to look like the price was was quite a lot of money. I mean, yeah. you're talking around about sort of 15 to 1800 pounds for the cruise. But again, it's an amazing bucket list cruise to do in 2023. So we thought, okay, we're just gonna have to go with that, you know, and we want to take our time and get it right, doing our first one. Of course, taking our time, getting it right doesn't happen, does it? Because Alison suddenly found this cruise with Royal Caribbean. Oh, They're yeah. doing a promotion, yeah? And the promotion was on the Brilliance of the Seas. One cruise ship, the Brilliance of the Seas, on May the 22nd. And this is going from Athens to Venice. Oh, a wow. seven-day cruise. Yeah. And it ticks... And it goes, it goes to Mykonos, uh, Hania in Crete. Yeah. Um, Zanti to Qatar in Montenegro. Love it. Split in Croatia and then Beautiful. into Venice. This seven day cruise. And we're like, wow. But then we saw the price, yeah? Now yeah. I'll get, I'm gonna put the price up a little bit, roughly. So what I think it will be tomorrow, yeah? yeah so yeah. you were talking about for uh, an inside cabin for the week was uh, just around about 900 pounds for an inside cabin. Oh my God. Now, there's, no single, 
no single supplement on that. It's nine hundred pounds for yeah. an inside cabin, or the same thing for uh, two people sharing. Wow. So, so, so that's I, I know because I just looked, and for per person, like for two people sharing, it's five nine nine. I just looked yeah. on the website. So that single, sub, that price, because when people book solo, they end up paying more because they have to pay a supplement for the second yeah. person that they'd normally book and the cruise line would make money from. So this is insane. So what you're saying is today the offer ends. So sorry, everybody, today the offer ends. And it is how, I know, such a shame. But so, but still, it's still a great deal. Yeah. Now, I'm, I'm guessing at that price for tomorrow, yeah? yeah? Because we'll have to reprice it when Royal Caribbean come out, right? Yeah. They'll have to yeah. reprice it. I think it's going to be somewhere between 900 and 1,000 for the cabin. That's, mm. that's cruise only, by the way. It doesn't include anything else. But also, yeah. not only that, you also get, if, if you become part of our group, as our group yeah. cruise, you also get one hundred dollars to spend, oh, fifty dollars to spend before the cruise, Goodness. and fifty dollars on board. But as I said, we were being we, anything else was seventeen, eighteen, nineteen hundred pounds for this cruise, yeah. and so we're like, I don't understand it because Royal Caribbean. I did my first Royal Caribbean cruise on a UK staycation on the Anthem of the Seas, and I can t I can understand why people go, yeah. Royal Caribbean, so step oh, yeah. up a lot of cruise Royal line. Caribbean's great. Yeah, I yes. love Royal Caribbean. It's a great cruise line. It does what it says on the tin. But if, I just can't would, that. How much I would love you to join us, Melissa. I'm definitely board, yeah. there. But right. we're talking about May 2023, right? Just to be clear. We're talking about the date, May the 22nd, right? Yeah. In, in 2023. Wow. And you and just know that that is going to be worth about four times more than that. Yeah next you know as it goes on that's an and just contact me just contact me for my um, facebook group yeah uh, cruises for cruises solos, for solos. Or, yeah. or contact contact yourself obviously you can pass it on if you want you to join us as part of our group because not only that what's nice about that is that we're going to have a wonderful community on board yeah Chili's on board i'm on board sorry about yeah. that addison's on board and a wonderful community of booking it as well really hoping that you're going to join us on board yes really. i'm going to have a word with the husband because I that would be i'll have to talk him into it too much because he loves cruising because that would be wonderful and of course if it and also what is ideal for if anybody has never cruised before oh, and yeah. they're thinking of cruising okay. And they're a little bit nervous then they're part of a wonderful community and also what we're going to be able to do is we'll be doing all kinds of group activities together you know yeah, excursions you won't be lonely yeah you won't be lonely we really you won't yeah. be lonely and of course we'll go live on board yeah we'll do a yeah. live but i just I, I just want to reiterate how such a good deal that is because normally that would be if 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 it wasn't that that's the best solo ray i've ever heard because even if you go down from the per person with two people sharing that is not much of a supplement that from a percentage you know perspective but you you're not far off 100 pounds a night where can you yeah yeah you know? you're really not and i, and I guess you, you got your hundred dollars to spend as well yeah you can spend it in the spa in the boutiques you can yeah. buy can you buy drinks with it That's yeah it's 50 dollars to use before the cruise so yeah. you can use that to fifty dollars towards buying the drinks package, excursions, you know, and fifty dollars to spend on board. Yeah, exactly. You know, that's included, if you're part of our group, yeah. that's the perk yeah. we got to yeah. get part of that group. Exactly. And you know, it's like, yeah, it, it, it's staggering, really. It's incredible. It really is. And just so everyone understands, when you buy a cruise, all your food is included, right? And also soft drinks packages as well. Tea, coffee, soft drinks, that's all included. I'm not sure about soft drinks. Um, tea and coffees um, and things like that, and some juices maybe. I'm not yeah. sure about the soft drinks like Coke, Coke and, and Pepsi yes, and things like that. Right. I'm not sure about that. Yeah. I think you're right about Royal Caribbean, but I think you can But I would tea. say there's a drink package um, I've got in the Royal Caribbean. It's the non-alcoholic one. Yeah. I can't remember what it's called now. And it allows you to have your speciality coffees in the morning. Ooh, and no. also allows you to have your mocktails. Ooh. So I was drinking these wonderful pina colada mocktails. Ooh, so it's not alcoholic. Good. And that particular drinks package was 20 something pounds. It wasn't bad oh, a day. Amazing. a day, And yeah. I really made the most of it. I really did. Yeah. Because yeah. you're having all your soft drinks. You get a refillable yeah. mug. A refillable mug. 
to put your yeah. soft drinks in as well. And mm -hmm. so that's a, that's a pay. It's actually there was, there's a little bit about that on my on my website as well. So on my okay. on my cruising Pete YouTube channel. Yeah. Cruising Pete YouTube channel, right? So what I'm going to do just to make it easy for everyone watching this. I'm going to add all the links because this this video is going to go out onto YouTube on friday we're recording this on monday just so you know it's going to go out on friday so there will be a new ray we, we haven't said the other ray anyway because i just rang pete today and said let's have a catch up and he's like okay great but and he was telling me about this great deal i'm like oh yeah work in a bucket because it runs out i'm like oh no anyway but it's still a great deal but so i'm going to put links to the facebook group so you can get straight to the facebook group and also links to your youtube channel which is cruising pete that's right Right. And, and also, just to let you know that on, on what we do is we've got a, a new show called the Solo Crew Show. Yeah. Where we have guests invited every week, um, especially from cruise lines that are solo friendly. We had the yeah. wonderful Shane Riley from Virgin Voyages as our oh, guest. Nice. Yeah, That nice. video is on the YouTube channel. But yeah. on this, we go live every Sunday at 9 p.m. But this Sunday, Melissa... We're we're doing we're we're just particularly talking about river cruising, yeah. Uh -huh. So Brilliant. I would love to invite you to be. Yeah. A, I know you've been on a river cruise. I want to I invite have. you as a guest. Oh, I'd be delighted. I'd be delighted. Yeah. Fantastic. So, so, okay, fantastic. Yeah. So we got yeah. some we got some lovely guests lined up, and you, obviously, if you tune in on yeah. on Sunday, and it's all about river cruising, river cruising, yeah. and and also about cruising solo on yeah. a river cruise right. which is always normally a little bit too, more expensive yes we'll and be. we also have different bits where chili talks about accessibility yes on a ship Perfect. you know okay. and, and addison yeah. talks about the ports that are on as well so that's going right. to be the sunny so thank you for being oh there. yeah my pleasure i've been uh, on the danube and I've been on the River Rhine and it's it's different. It's absolutely fabulous. And I think it's perfect for so look, you mentioned that it's a little bit more expensive. It is, but it's different because on a cruise ship, you know, you've got sea days and you're on board the ship and you take your part in the activities. But river cruising is all about the destination. It is pretty much docked somewhere every day. Um, and so the price includes everything. So it includes every single experience, every single excursion. And the, the excursions are pretty unique. Very, you know, you, you don't have to book them. It's just all included. But we'll talk about I'm that. I'm really today. looking forward to learning all about it because yeah. I haven't done a river cruise yet. Oh, you'd love it. And that. I'm really hoping I can do one as well at some point. And it's, it's a, a whole new experience. So, yeah, yeah, fantastic. So, Sunday, see you then. Oh, Sunday, it's a day. I'll be there. nine. So, not, that's 9 p.m. UK time. And then that's... 9 p.m. UK, 4 p.m. Eastern time. Gotcha. Okay, I'll be there UK time. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> I did post one the, the week before that, yeah, and I got it mixed up. <laughs> I oh, posted no the time at 9 p.m. Eastern time, 4 p.m. UK time, like a complete idiot. <laughs> yeah, oh dear. I've had a couple of moments. I've had a couple of senile moments. I also, when I posted about the group, yeah, I went to put um, Athens to Venice, but I've been talking about the anthem of the seas and stuff like that. So I didn't realize it also corrected my Athens to anthems. So <laughs> I had anthems to Venice, and the people are like, well, "What is he talking about?" <laughs> so I will forgive you, Pete. Idiot. Yeah, but I—I I mean, I have been watch, following you on your YouTube channel. I highly recommend because your well, your videos are brilliant, and there's a reason why your videos are brilliant, aren't they? Well, I think that because they're not about me. <laughs> <laughs> no, that's not what I meant. Like you, that is what you do. Your professional video. Uh, well, yeah, I mean, I mean, on the video side of things, I've, I've been in the entertainment industry uh, yeah. as a child actor, as a kid, you know, yeah. I haven't been doing, I mean, I did loads of West End shows. I did the Carry On, Carry On London with the Carry On Gang. Did with, you? Went to Barbara Windsor, I was in that. I used to go to Sid Jane's dressing room to go through all the lines as a kid, you know, yeah. it was completely normal, nothing bad, you know, you wouldn't do it nowadays, of course, in this crazy world. But, you know, so I, was, I was in that and various shows, National Theatre, lots of adverts and all kinds of things. Um, and so, yeah, but I've been in a show called Holby City yeah. for 23 years. Wow. Not as a main actor, but as um, one of the an an anaesthetic team. And yeah. sadly, it's been cut by the BBC. And oh, we did yeah. our last day's filming just before Christmas. I was there, oh, you know. 
And um, they, I've got a prosthetic head made up, by the way, which is yeah. a bit crazy. Yeah. You know? <laughs> if you see it, I, it, it looks exactly like me. It, yeah. The lady that did it, it's called Luke, won an Oscar. Oh, wow. Doing Darkest Hour. Darkest Hour. Gary Oldman. She did Gary Oldman's prosthetic head in oh, Darkest wow. Hour. And yeah. she then won an Oscar in America for what no she way. did. And before she did that, she did a, I went in one day, she was there, one of the prosthetic scenes, she goes, we need some heads, we need a head made up, Pete, just to go on the bed to give the actors a break. And I went, okay, well, I'll go for it. So she, I got my head all done up, you know, all done. Yeah. They made the cast. And then yeah. of course, I didn't think anything of it. And about, I came in about, uh, about a month later and the actors are going to me, Pete, everyone's going to see your head. It's scary. It's oh terrifying. And wow. I looked at it, and it's the most realistic thing you've ever wow. seen in your life, right? And I was like, oh, my. And, of course, why is it so good? It's literally Madden Tussauds standard, more than that. Right. The lady yeah. that did it, Lucy, was obviously a talent. And yeah. there's never been a head like it there at all. And, wow. and then she then left, and I didn't hear, it, didn't hear of her for a while. And I watched yeah. this documentary about Darkest Hour and Gary yeah. Oldman. And they said yeah. the, the prosthetics, prosthetics team are, are nailed on for an Oscar, and she did. Wow. And not only that, after that, she came back to the BBC for one episode to say yeah. thanks to all the family. I said oh. to her, where's the, Os where's the Oscar, Lucy? She goes, it's, she goes, it's in a cupboard up north. Right? Oh. <laughs> she, she's so down to earth. It was yeah. amazing. But she went on to do Star Wars and all in <gasps> Game of Thrones and all oh the major things. Gosh. Yeah, and my head played a little part in that. Do you know what? I'm really gutted because I was hoping I was going to keep my head. Yeah. But BBC why, why archives have said they want a few bits from Holby to keep in the archives. And because it's made as by a lady who won an Oscar, I had no chance. Oh, so, what a shame. Do they with my head with me, you know? Oh no! I was I hoping you were going to say. I don't know if you can see it. I I I I put my camera to. I put a, a photo yeah. to the camera and see whether or not it works or not. But it is absolutely scary. Let me do yeah. this. I can also try and get a. I'm you not can, great at yeah. editing, but I'll try and get. I'll try and get. If you send me that picture, I'll try and edit it in. Oh yes! Oh my god, it's creepy. Isn't that, oh, isn't that so scary? Creepy. Yeah. That is scary, isn't it? You know, yeah. I, I, my head's been everywhere. You, you name it, it's been everywhere. It really so, has. What, give me an ex, so you're, you were one of the initiatives. I've never watched Holby City. I might watch it now. I know that you're in it. So the, some of the older episodes. But so when, what would you be lying in the bed having a nap then? No, yeah, yeah. I, I'm a, I said I was one of the, and I should be, shouldn't I? There is actually an episode where I'm the anaesthetist in this episode, yeah, and I'm actually operating on my own head that's on the bed, right? And they're not meant to see it. It's not meant to be recognisable, but apparently you could clearly see it's my head, me, operating yeah. on, on it. Because at the time when we were doing it, we weren't wearing masks right. or, or anything like that. So you can see my face yeah. clearly. So yeah, there's an episode of me oh, on wow. me on here, which is mad. Oh, wow. Uh, so, so, oh, sorry, go on. Sorry. No, no, it's cool. Go, carry on. Yeah. So I want to know now what's next for you, because I know that your your YouTube channel is huge now and you've been on lots of cruises. Does this mean that you're dedicating more of your time to cruising or is there still some acting roles that you want to do? Well, I'd like to. I would like to dedicate more time to cruising, to be honest with you. So yeah. I've got... I've got a few quick cruises booked. Yeah. I'm on the um, MSC Magnifica. Oh, amazing. In March. It's a seven day UK cruise. Yeah. Sorry, seven day cruise to France and around that area. And yeah. um, I'm hoping it's going to go. Yes. I mean, but again, they did some wonderful rates for solos. And, yeah. and then I'm on the, uh, there's a brand new cruise line operating from Tilbury called Ambassador. Yeah, I've heard of it. And I'm on, it's called the Am Am Ambience. It used to be CMV, I think, before. Yeah, yeah. But they've all changed hands because they went down. But I'm yeah. on their second cruise. It's a taste of the Norwegian fjords. Oh, amazing. And that is in April, on 10th of April. Wow. Okay. But what's, what's great about them is that they, they it's no fly cruises from yeah. Tilbury. 
Yeah. And if Brilliant. you check their itineraries, they've got itineraries to the Canaries and to all kinds of places as well in the future. Wow. And of course, it'll come back to Tilbury. So I'm doing, and also I'm on the Valiant Lady, the brand new ship from Virgin Voyages. Oh, amazing. So I'm going on Valiant Lady too. Yeah. Uh, but when? I'm going on the Friends and Family on the 3rd of March. Ah, Friends of the 3rd of March, yeah? It's like the first, we're like the guinea pigs. I didn't get invited. <laughs> I didn't get invited. No, well, I think you've got to know someone who works there. So my mate, Excuse my me. mate. We, I, mean, I interviewed Shane Riley, the Vice President of International you. Shane Riley, the Vice President of International Sales, on our show yesterday. <laughs> you need to email that man. He needs to invite you on friends and family. That's not right. Shane, I'm going to mention that to you, Shane. Naughty. <laughs> <laughs> Send an email. Yeah. yeah. So um, I'm looking forward to that. But um, I'm hoping to do, I'd love to go on a cruise. Do you know what I'd like to do, Pete? Because I interviewed Emma Cruises last, uh, last week. She was talking about her Christmas cruise. It was a bit rough. And so she had some great advice about booking a Christmas cruise. Um, you need to watch that video because it was sound advice. And I'll tell you what, I wrote, I, I was taking notes. I would love, 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 love to go on a British cruise ship for Christmas. Well, you can do, because you can do Ambassador for Christmas from Tilbury. There you go. Yeah. You know? I've but I don't want too many sea days, because that's where she said she went wrong. They went too far. They had too many sea days, and they got unlucky with the weather. It yeah, was the still problem far. Is, the the yeah. problem is, if you're going to cruise that time of year, yeah. you know, you're going to cruise from the UK that time of year, the only area you can go to is the Canaries or the, yeah. or the Caribbean, to get the sunshine yeah. and you have to cruise there yeah it takes time to do you know yeah or you yeah. have to fly yeah. and go go on a different cruise line but you know that's the only the other line. that's the only other way so if you don't want to fly and you want to go from the uk you know you have to cruise to the canaries mm. i can tell you now the, the weather in the canaries this time of year is in the mid 20s to 30 degrees because i mm -hmm. i lived over in grand canary for five years when yeah. i was a younger person oh. you know so I know what the weather is like. Yeah. So, yeah. you know, so the weather's fantastic, but you've got to cruise there. That's the only thing. Yeah, or, or fly. But I, I just can't, I can't think of anything more magical than being on a ship for Christmas. You've got all the Christmas decorations. You haven't put them up yourself. Great. You've got all that fabulous food. You haven't had to cook it yourself or do the dishes. And just everyone's in that lovely Christmas spirit. And then you're somewhere nice and warm. How fab. Christmas dinner on board, New Year's Eve on board, absolutely bucket list cruise with that. Bucket list, totally. If it's affordable. It's affordable, yeah, that's the thing as well. They put the prices up for Christmas though, don't they? They do. Yeah, because yeah. it's what people want to do. Yeah. Um, but I tell you, the week after New Year is a good time to cruise as well because it's discounted. Nobody wants to cruise that one week after New Year. So, ah. and the Christmas January. decorations are probably still up. Yeah, I, I definitely think the first week after Christmas in January is, or the second week in January is a great time to cruise mm, from agree. the UK. And also, once the once everyone's returned to the different countries, the flights as well yeah. are, are reasonable. That's a really good. And of course, in, again, in the Canaries, the Canaries of the weather is fantastic. It really mm -hmm. is. And, and the like Caribbean as well. Yeah. So. Yeah. Oh, I hope so. I hope we can we can cruise this because I have to look at the prices. But I'm definitely going to have that conversation with my husband because that is the fabulous cruise. So once again, what ship is it? It's the Royal Caribbean. Royal Caribbean, brilliance of the seas. Yeah. And it's from Athens to Venice, two Seven bucket nights. already. So we're going to do. We're going to go to Athens earlier and enjoy yeah. Athens. And yeah. it, look, Alison has been there, and so she she posts on our show yesterday with with um, Shane. We she did a whole spot about Athens, about where to go and what to do. Which oh, amazing! Wonderful. And yeah. of course, it finishes in Venice. But it, it, it clearly won't cruise into Venice anymore, which is a real shame. Yeah. But it obviously goes to the port close to it, and yeah. we've got to do something at the end of it because I've never been to Venice. I've never been to Italy. Well, I have been to Venice and I can, I, I, I know Alison will have a long list of great things to do, but there are lots of things that you can do that is very inexpensive and you can use the um, water taxis, which is like, it's like catching a bus, but in Venice, of course, because it's Venice, it's, it's so simple to use and literally just getting on one of those and getting off at the hotspots is, 
is a tour within itself. You know? Well, I really hope that if you can come on board, then obviously, you, you know, you, you'll be a great guide with us to show me what to do and where to go. Because yeah. I'm definitely going to do something at the end of it about that. Yeah. But again, and you don't go to Venice and not spend a few days there and enjoy Venice. That's true. That's true. Yeah. And you can get, you can take the, I think it's called the Valletta. The Valletta yeah. is called the water taxi, but you can take that over to Murano Island or Burano Island, which is not far, and explore all the other places. But yeah, you definitely need a couple of nights in Venice afterwards, I would say. Yeah, cool. Look forward to it. We'll talk about that. Another time. And, do you know what? We've just got, we're like big kids, us lot. We just got so excited when we were talking about doing this. We're like, wow. And it's all got put into place today. We had to wait because the because the group section for Royal Caribbean isn't open weekends. Can you believe? You know, so we had to wait for the Monday to get it all done. Yeah. You know, and it was just absolutely crazy. Absolutely crazy, really was, and 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 it's going to be there. It's going to be there all the way through. Obviously, it's a long way to long time to go. Yeah, but yeah. prices fluctuate. Well, they'll fluctuate because they we'll don't allow us to reserve cabins at a price. Yeah. We go with the price, but we get the perks with the onboard compared to what you would Yeah, that's right. Correct. I think it's a fantastic deal. And if anyone's watching this, you definitely need to click on the links that we're going to provide you with and book as soon as possible because the longer you leave it, the more it's going to go up. And so just book it, lock in that price. Brilliant. Yeah, contact us. We will give you the yeah. details of our, the travel agent who is dealing with it for us. It's a right. wonderful chap called Robert. He's in Wales, yeah? Yeah. Uh, he, uh, just to give you the heads up, his email is liveforholidays <laughs> at theholidayvillage.co.uk. It's a bit of a long one, isn't it? So it's liveforholidays yeah. at theholidayvillage.co.uk so that they're part, it's all up to all, all that you can also also we'll be talking about flights at some point and hotels and stuff but he yeah. can deal with it and obviously we can give you dip. we've got a phone number for him as well that you can contact so all that we'll give you we'll give you all but that information I mean, yeah. but if you want to if you want to join us and hopefully yeah. by friday you'll be on board with us Melissa, if you go ahead Amazing. go ahead yeah yeah, yeah. Brilliant. Well, and, and Rob is a, he's a, a travel agent, right? Yes. That's the yeah, holiday he's, he's a, his travel agent is called Live for Holidays. And Live he's part holidays. of, he's, yeah, he's part of the Holiday Village group, which is a massive group of, of travel agents, which Martin's part of. With mm -hmm. um, Martin's got his Holiday Village, one of the Cruz Amigos. And Martin was like the TA of the year last year. He won all kinds oh, of wow. awards. You know, Amazing. so it's all great. It's all protected. It's wonderful. Yeah. And even though you book as a group, you have your individual login for World Caribbean to do everything you need to do as, mm. as well, which is great. Amazing. Amazing. Oh, my God, this is amazing. Thank you so much for coming on the show today and um, talking to me because I know you're super busy because today you've been booking up that. But if anyone's watching, definitely click on the link or just contact myself or Pete or we'll put Rob's email address in here so you can actually email him. But if you do need any maps or coupons, you can always visit Crew Shop Save. Um, or if you've got any questions about the ports of call or shopping or anything, we're, we're a lovely community and we'd love to welcome you. So do get in touch. Give us your feedback. Um, we love talking all things cruises, but thank you so much for watching and thank you, Pete, for your time today. I really, really appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Melissa. I really appreciate it. And again, thank you, everyone who's still here watching. Thank you. Exactly. All right. Take care. Bye, everyone. Bye. Bye. Bye.